P5, the five uh -oh, secrets to winning proposals. P5. P5, 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 P5. Your maid is waiting for you tonight. You're going to write that proposal. P5, P5, P5. Doubt's going to creep into your head, but you got to push it out. P5, 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 P5. 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 My name is Derek Drakeford. I'm excited to be here because the next 45 minutes, we are going to make one of the most challenging, one of the most difficult practices in America, proposal writing, simple. The mark of a true scholar, the mark of a true intellect, is someone who can take the complex and bring it and break it down to simple. We're going to give you today five keys to successful proposal writing. I wrote my first million dollar proposal at age 26. Dr. Hicks has written multiple million dollar proposals. You have in the room with you so much intelligence that you want to maximize this moment. You know, when I started my business 15 years ago, I would do a consultation with a client, and my consultation was free. So the client would come in, right, when it's free, mm -hmm. and they would just sit back in the chair, you know, kind of my brother sitting right here, just to sit back, just chilling. <laughs> you know, the information's up here, but I'm back here. <laughs> so then, as I, my business started growing, I started charging for consultations because I didn't have the time. So I started charging $50 an hour for a consultation, and then people start sitting up a little bit <laughs> in the meeting. And then I got another million dollar proposal, and another million dollar proposal, so now I charge $250 for an hour consultation, and people come in with paper, pencil, <laughs> you know, you know. So, um, when Sharon told me that she wanted me to come and do this presentation, and I told her our normal fee is $2,500. She said, uh, can you do it for free? <laughs> now, you know what I said. I heard that. But I love Sharon. Uh, I know her. <laughs> you what, our, our county is blessed to have her. We need to keep her here, do everything we can to keep her here. Uh, she used to work for the governor, Governor O'Malley. And she had me teaching at an innovative program called MBE University. That's how we developed our friendship. That's how we developed our trust. So I said, forget the 2,500. We're going to come there, and we're going to do this session for your people. And, and I say that to say, take out your pen and paper. Because this is going to be valuable, powerful information. Has anybody heard of Carpe Diem? Carpe Diem means seize the day. Today will never come again. Amen. Every second, every minute, every hour, you want to squeeze the life out of that hour. You want to prepare yourself and prepare your mind as a blank slate. And say, pour into me and allow me to grow and change so that tomorrow I'm a different person. If you go home today and you don't start writing a proposal, I have failed you. My goal today is to equip you so well, so confidently, that you will leave here today and start writing your first proposal. Start submitting it. You know, the truth is that we have not because we ask not. And as we get into the pro pro presentation today, <laughs> we're going to talk more and more about we have not because we, because we ask not. You know the speakers, myself and Dr. Hicks are going to talk today. And first thing that we are going to talk about on these five P's is pain. 
I do want you to write these down here. Pain, precision, personality, price, professional. This is your key to winning a million dollar proposal. Pain, precision, personality, price, and professional. <laughs> Number one is pain. P A I N. Write down that word, pain. P A I N. You know, and I have my clients come to me and they say, Draper, I came to learn how to write a proposal, not talk about pain. I want to talk about this money. The P in pain. Stands for pimples. Write that down. Pimples. <laughs> now I know y'all. I see some real good complexions in here. But when I was in high school, and I want you to think. Just close your eyes. And think back to high school, middle school. You may have had a pimple at some point in time. Is anybody? Has anybody never had a, a pimple before? <laughs> Until adulthood. Okay. Well, you know. You know what it is about a pimple. Pimple's painful. And it hurts your confidence. It challenges your mindset. And the truth is, as you're preparing a bid proposal or a grant proposal for a nonprofit, that agency that is looking for a service or a product is in pain. That's why they need you. They need you to solve that pain. And unless you can step outside of your business plan and your business model, your, your logo, I saw some nice logos today, beautiful logos on your business. Step outside of your logo and step into the mindset of the offerer who has your money and figure out what their pain is. Pimples. Abrasions that hurt their marketing, that hurt the, their face of the agency. How can you clear up those pimples? A, agony. Agony. Great loss. You've had loved ones that you've lost before. Step into that place of agony and and emptiness. Because when you're there, you operate from a, a sincere and genuine place. <laughs> What's the reason that you go to work? Is it for money? No. It's for work. That's the purpose of work. It's work. And because you're so good at it, people have to pay you for it. Step outside and understand that the agency has pimples, the agency has agony, mm -hmm. and what the agency wants for you is I, which is intelligence. You know, uh, you've been to the hospital before, and when you're in the hospital and you're really in pain, right? Mm -hmm. You're in the hospital and you're in pain, and then they send in, they don't even send the nurse, they send the nurse's assistant's water boy. Yeah. <laughs> and he, you know, he comes in, he's got no training at all. He looks younger than this guy right here. And you say, no, I want the doctor. Where, where is the doctor? Where is the one who has went to school for this and has the most information and the most intelligence for you to solve the pain of the offerer, you have to offer the most intelligence. You have to be the best in the world at what you do. You have to read more, learn more, become the most intelligent bidder in the pile, the stack of bids that they get. All that paper, you rise to the top because of your intelligence because you worked hard to get certifications, degrees, 
Bring on people with degrees. Bring on new innovative ideas. You are the most intelligent. That's why you win the bid. P-A-I. And the end is for never again. The truth is, many times, this bid is out there because somebody <laughs> messed up. <laughs> and something needs to be fixed, or there needs to be a product or a service, and you have to fill that gap so they will never have that gap again. You have to be so good at what you do that you don't just win one contract, right? You win all the contracts. You establish a long-term relationship because you are clearing up their pimples. You're easing their agony. You are the most intelligent, and they will never again need that service because they have you. P-A-I-N, pain. So we're talking about five P's and five secrets. Somebody say P5. P5. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Ushers, guard the doors. <laughs> hey. I say P5. 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 I'm about to get this out of this jacket. What? P5. 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 There's five secrets. P5. 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 Beautiful.